the um, To be honest, not much. Um, I think the gaffer's drilled it into us that he wants to take it game by game and um, he's created a bubble and a, a focus from us that it's the next game and how long the season is. It doesn't matter who's, who's top or who's not now, it's what happens at the end of the season. So I think everyone's focused on that. When you look at last week, you feel the same chance. Did it feel a bit different? Did it feel does certainly there's like a, an expectation there or a bit of a buzz about the crowd? How, how do you separate that then when you go onto the field? Um, I think it was just because it was a night game against Aberdeen. I think that that alone um, brings an atmosphere like that. Um, and I think if we keep performing and playing, the atmospheres are going to be like that more and more. But it's up to us to to provide the the crowd with that, um, with the reason for bringing the atmosphere, and that's down to us. Does it all come together? Do you like you've got a bit of spring in your step at the moment? Yeah, I think we do. I think we're in a good place. Um, but as I say, we just need to keep it going. Um, small steps. What's been the key to getting in that good place then? Uh, team? Yeah. I don't know if there's been a key. I think the gaffers just came in and um, everyone's bought into what he's doing. Um, there's a lot of clarity whenever you see when boys come in, when they come in. There's not a, a great deal of change. We, he makes a lot of changes in rotation, but the performances don't fluctuate that much. Um, because when you go and everyone knows their role and, and there's real clarity through throughout the team and I think that's brought um, the consistency and performances you've seen just now. Just on a personal note, how pleased are you with your current run of ball? Yeah, I've enjoyed being in the team. Um, obviously it's where you want to be, you want to be playing every week so um, I think when you're playing every week you become, you get a rhythm and uh, everything becomes more natural um, and yeah, that's where I am just now. Can that be tough when there is quite a lot of chopping and changing in that position? Yeah, it can be. Um, tough to come in out of the team as a defender, but the intensity we train at every day, um, it allows you to to state that to state that top performance. And, and I know there's four good centre-halves here, so there's going to be chopping and changing throughout the season. So it's something everyone needs to adapt to. And uh, everyone, I'm sure, will have a spell of of being out of the team, but it's important when you're in, you do everything you can to stay in it, um, because it's when the team's playing like this the way we are, so you want to be in part of every game. Is that something that's at the forefront of your mind, because there are those options for the managers to choose from, that when you get that opportunity, you need to show your best? Um, I just try and concentrate on myself, to be honest. Um, every day, train as hard as I can, um, and every game, play as well as I can, and, and uh, and try and get better every day. Um, and I think if you do that, then everything else will take care of itself. I know you've been concentrating on club form, but the fact that there is a Euros ahead as well, any good performance you've put in for Rangers, you must be pleased that you know Steve Clark, I'm sure, will be looking on as well. Yeah, it's a long way away. Um, <laughs> as I said, yeah, we're just, I'm just concentrating on day to day. Um, and everything else in the future will take care of itself. But obviously, as a Scotland player, that's, that's where you want to be. Um, I don't know if there's been a uh, one or two elements, or it's just been the way we are. Um, yeah. We've obviously tried to cut out transitions a lot. Um, there's been a big focus on that, and also when when we're dominating games with possession, um, there's obviously going to be less chances and. Um, and everyone being concentrated for, for 90 minutes and having that determination to keep a clean sheet, the whole team, not just uh, Jack or the back four, I think it's a collective thing. Um, and the manager is very much driven in, in that and um, doesn't want a lot of goals and the whole team working as a unit out of possession. And when we're in possession, um, thinking defensively and as I say, that comes back to the clarity he gives to the whole team. Um, what he wants defensively when we're on the ball and off the ball. Could Conor Wilson speak about that after the game of the weekend where he was saying actually when you think about the defensive side of the game? The lot of managers drilling in is that it starts as soon as you lose the ball at the top end of the park. So is it maybe what we'll we sometimes miss is it's a collective effort as well as not only thinking about the back four but about how the team spends even when they do have the ball in the, in the opposition half? Yeah, I think so and I also think it's just rhythm. When, when you get in a habit of doing something it becomes natural and and you, you get one or two, three, four clean sheets, and then you start. Everyone buys into it, um, and then it becomes like a real determination um, to not concede goals. 
and it also helps when you've got Jack in the goal as well, who's obviously a top class keeper. Um, and yeah, all that added together, I think, is not really been one or two elements to the key, but there's been a lot of things that I've added to that. You mentioned that the manager's created this bubble with regards to looking outside and the title race and whatnot. Have you ever insight into you know, how he's created this bubble and what it's like and just how beneficial that is to use going day to day? Yeah, when I say a bubble, I just mean he's not interested in in the future he's banging right in the now um, day to day training instead of thinking in the future this game this game this game he's bang on uh, being on it and training and then the next game is massive and there's a real emphasis on that it's not um, thinking two or three games in front he's, he's next session next game um, and I think that keeps everyone on their toes and also with the squad we've got you, you can't afford to to think oh, I'll lay off the foot off the gas for this game in preparation for the next game everyone knows they need to be on it so um, yeah I think the manager has created that Is that an easy thing to do as a player you know when you know, the whole country's talking about the possibility of title race and whatnot once you're right in the thick of it is it easy to, to park that? Yeah I think it is um, you can get involved in it as much as you want um, but I don't think it's beneficial to you or the team if you do so and I think the gaffer has been clear on that as soon as he came in he wasn't interested in the talk Looking how far away, just concentrating on yourselves and, and everything will take care of the rest. John, obviously one of the plus points from Saturday was the performance of Oscar Cortez at the ground. Man, how have you, as his peers and teammates, been impressed with how quickly he seems to have adapted? Um, yeah, he done well. Uh, I think it's so early on. Um, I know everyone wants to. Someone plays well coming from another country. Everyone wants to build build the hype and stuff, but I think we've just got to let them play play football. Let them let them get used to it. I think coming from a different country, I've never done it, but I've watched other boys do it, and I can see how difficult it is. Um, it's unbelievably difficult when when you can't speak the language or the culture. Um, look at Red Van, for instance, who's who's probably himself taken a year to to adapt, and now he's he's comfortable. He's joining conversations with the boys and. He probably feels like he's really part of the dressing room, which is no no one's fault, his or other boys. I think everyone was welcome. But when you start learning the language and, and you start seeing how Scottish people or British people do things and they adapt to that, I think it, it becomes more comfortable on the pitch and, and off the pitch. So for Oscar, I think his, his ability in that looks, looks really good. And he, um, he obviously plays really well at the weekend, but I think it's important everyone's patient with him. and doesn't put too much pressure on to to um, perform week in week out because it's going to be dips like everyone. Um, but yeah, he was he was really good at the weekend. Last couple, please, guys. Is it a conscious effort from you to try and help guys, you and other senior players, to try and help foreign players in the coming to try and make that easier? Yeah, definitely. But I think it's an, a natural thing as well. Um, you can't force someone to adapt. You can make it as welcome as possible, but. Um, it will just take time um, for him to ingrain into the into everything, to range as a culture, and it's important everyone supports him throughout that transition. Okay. Thank you, guys. Just get started. Daily guys.